Thank you, Lame Hero, and thank you, Miss Natalie. <laughs> and look at our setup. Chamomile flowers, fresh tea, antioxidant. Yay. Okay, great, love it. All right, so guys, you know <laughs> that 2016 is all about refreshing, right? That's our theme. So I have Natalie Archer here, my old friend who I haven't seen in forever. <laughs> and she has a blog, Nutritiously Natalie, but she's also now, as of 2016, contributing to the Mr. Kate blog too, Yay. because she is a holistic health coach. In the theme of refreshing, we are gonna do a video today that is all about the seven, we picked seven. Essential. Essential yes. items that you can bring into your lives slowly, quickly, whatever, basically to get yourself on the path to health. We met in acting class, mm -hmm. and it was immediately friend love. Yes. Every time I'd see her, she'd come over to like buy jewelry or whatever. I'd take Such a pictures big fan, of her. I know she's an old, old it. school supporter, Mr. Kate Jewelry. Vintage, Mr. Yes, Kate on. Vintage. Natalie has an amazing story. Since I've known you, yes. you are now a cancer survivor. Yes, which is so crazy, and you don't expect that. Well, yeah, right, especially when you're what? 24 mm -hmm. when I got diagnosed. So, so crazy. And, and I, I remember just, that. It's yeah. so devastating. So I had leukemia. I was feeling really sick for like about a month while well, I passed out in a grocery store. <gasps> In a grocery, in a grocery store. store, then you went to the I hospital. I went to the hospital, they did my blood work. I basically had like no blood in my system. Because leukemia is It's a blood cancer. cancer. Kyle, Natalie's husband set up this Facebook page. Yes. Nat fights Nat back. Nat fights back. Natalie was so open about her journey the entire time. Like she was posting pictures of like you after the chemo, like your, yeah. you shaved your head, right? I did, yeah. I actually FaceTimed with my brother at college oh. and he shaved it the same oh time God, that I did, which was so, That's sweet. so sweet. I know, and then my cousin did it too. You got cancer. Yes. But before that, you weren't plant-based, right? No. You ate meat, you I, ate yeah. shitty food. I ate everything. <laughs> so once I was going through treatment, I had all these people reaching out to me and saying, you know, that I should try these different things. And I started just reading all this stuff. The plant-based diet made the most sense to me. So I immediately wanted to give it a try. And so in the middle of my treatment, that's just what I did. And they said I was the fastest person to ever go through chemo <gasps> Whoa, at their hospital. And I crazy. feel like totally attribute that to my diet. And I think a positive attitude always. And I knew that as soon as I was done, I wanted to make this, you know, your a, career. A career. So you are going to take everything that you've learned and teach us. Let's leave our tea here. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, Let's Natalie. Go. Let's go. Food, food. Whoa. I mean, this just, this is so bountiful. I'm right? excited. If you didn't grow up eating like whatever the heck this is, then it's gonna be kind of foreign and a little yes. scary. But that's why we wanted to do this video for you guys. I actually was vegan for a couple years, and now Joey and I are like pescatarian. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we started eating like dairy and fish again was because of just accessibility, like yeah. we're going out to dinner so much. And the reason why I'm saying this, guys, is because I know you out there might not want to be vegan. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone should be on a plant-based diet, just meaning that they should be having these foods, even if it's in combination with, with some lean protein, mm -hmm. like a, a chicken or a, or a fish. My number one plant-based protein, as a general, it's beans and lentils, but my absolute favorite is chickpeas, also known as garbanzo beans. You can buy them in a, you know, in a box in a BPA-free can. BPA-free can, yeah, that's important. very important. Yes. BPAs are like fake flavor, whatever. Yeah, I can't even say. They're just bad for you guys, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, do it. Eat don't it. it. Don't have the BPA. Don't do it. Also, what I love about a garbanzo is yes. you can blend it up and make a hummus. You can get a can of, you know, BPA free organic, uh, you know, chickpeas for what? Two bucks? One yeah, ninety nine? Yeah, exactly. Something exactly. like this you can use in a bunch of different recipes. You're able to have more bang for your Exactly. Body. A lot of people think that yeah. when you're vegetarian or plant based, all you're eating is beans, yeah. and so then all you're doing is farting. You are going to soak your beans overnight, <gasps> and you're going to take about a thumb size piece of kombu uh, seaweed. Because it's like an acid, right? Exactly. Or something so that kind of soaks you. up that. Nice. So it's a little spungy. Exactly. Okay, I love that. 
quinoa. Quinoa is also a complete protein. So I mean, that's kind of cool. cool. Yeah, quinoa. This is, is it nice. cooked, by yeah. the way, guys, and this is it raw. Always have cooked quinoa in your fridge because Ooh. you can always throw together like we have here: chickpeas, cooked quinoa, veggies, healthy fat with the avocado. And, and this is just missing like a dressing, exactly, which you do like an olive oil. Number three is nuts and seeds. That's a big old joke. Oh, what do you eat? Like a bird, nuts yeah. and seeds? Yeah. Shut up, it's good for you. Let's just yeah. talk about the elephant in the room. Otherwise known as a chia seed. Yeah, and then flax and hemp seeds. Okay, these are like my little triple threat, I call Ooh. them. I use this combination with everything in smoothies, with oatmeal, and I throw them on my avocado toast. Oh. You know, these are all filled with omega-3s, which is so great, talking about the healthy fats. For those of you that are looking to maybe cut eggs out of your diet, Ooh. they make fantastic eggs. Replacements. So you can do, you know, some. What? Right? Use some chia seeds with some water. <gasps> and then same with flax. I didn't Let know it set that. for a couple minutes. It'll gel up and be nice and gelatinous. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Obviously, nuts are great snack. Say you've got raw almonds here. Mm -hmm. How easy you can throw them into a food processor and make homemade almond butter. My favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do with cashews yes. is to make cheese. What? These little pepitas, right? Like sunflower seeds yes. that literally just have cumin and like cayenne on them or something and so sea good. salt. I grew up with like an Italian grandma who cooked like mm -hmm. amazing food. This food can be flavorful and amazing. Almond milk. I would like to know which would be better for you first, cutting out meat or dairy from your diet. I'm trying to go vegan, and so far it's been pretty easy not to eat meat, but cutting out milk and eggs have been harder. Dairy is something that, it's, it's one of the highest allergen related foods. I mean, we can't really digest dairy. Even right. if you think that you can. Because I'm, I'm not, not a can. cow. Yeah, exactly. People have told me I'm a cow, but they're that's horrible. People. I'd much rather be a goat. Because they're cuter. I know there's, those of you out there that are like, I am not giving up cheese. Yeah. So that's okay, yeah. but as my mom always said growing up, everything in moderation. In your cereal in the morning, use almond milk, or in your Absolutely. coffee. Get the unsweetened vanilla, so you've got like a little hint of you flavor, know, flavor yeah. or something. Vanilla is a flavor in human breast milk. No way. Yes. Really? People like the smell of vanilla. It's like a very comforting smell. So basically, drinking vanilla almond milk is like drinking from the yeah. boob. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. If you would like milk straight from the human teat, please imbibe vanilla almond, almond milk. milk. I mean, even at Costco, you can buy like a you know, I think a six pack of a, right. You know, of the so almond. again, budget saving, right. health food. You can yes. buy in bulk. Keep it in your cabinet so it doesn't spoil. I'm familiar with this only because when I went vegan, I looked up a mac and cheese recipe. It's a total superfood. It's got so much protein <gasps> and fiber. It's got tons of B vitamins and folic acid, which mm. is so, so important. important. I feel like people are like, well, why should I stop eating meat if I'm getting vitamins from it? Meat is very inflammatory to our bodies. And also, you only really get B vitamins from um, red meat. Oh, there goes my tongue. So, and I also love making um, vegan Parmesan cheese out of this with oh. some almonds and some oh. garlic. I think we are on turmeric now. Turmeric! Yes. Look at this beautiful color. I want to just use this as an eyeshadow. I actually yes. take a turmeric vitamin every yes, morning which is fantastic. for low inflammation. Yes. At night time, if you want kind of like a warming drink, is to make turmeric milk. Um, <gasps> what? Oh, yeah, and it's like milk. a warm, spiced yes. milk? And it actually tastes so good. So if you're feeling like a little run down, if you've got a cold, or you're just kind of wanting something like sweet. Yeah, that's a pick me up. Yeah. Berlina. Excuse me? What'd you call me? <laughs> it's actually a gorgeous green. If you want to do a beauty look, I would mm -hmm. take a little bit of the turmeric, coat yes. the entire eyelid, and then I would use this in the crease. It smells like a pond. It smells horrible. <laughs> and that is because it is a blue-green algae that is Ooh. grown and harvested underwater. No, it's harvested like, by oh mermaids? God. Totally. It is also a complete protein. <gasps> Shut yeah. up! Read that. Oh my god, spirulina is 65. 
That's so 71% complete protein. In comparison, beef is only 22% protein. Crazy. Spirulina has a photosynthesis conversion of, okay, whatever, that's boring. This is way better for you, like even protein-wise, than a Steak, yo! Exactly. No Arby's, yeah. I'm pond diving. We talked about like the idea of those easy to go snacks, which we have the peanut yes. butter protein bites here. The recipes on mrk.com, there's other healthy snack recipe ideas on your website. Let's sip on this hot chocolate. Let's do um, it. Because Yay. I love need some sweetness. So this is another super food, right? Yes. Cacao. Cacao, it's unrefined, you know, chocolate. So it's got, right, it smells so good. I put the, this in, in my smoothie. You can do that with some dates and almond butter, make it like, kind of like a Milky Way smoothie. Ooh. We're killing it and we're gonna have yes. long, wonderful lives. And you guys are too. And thank you so much for tuning in. Try stuff and let us know in the comments. Natalie yeah. will check the comments and reply with, with any sort of questions that you guys have. Thumbs up subscribe because we want to have more amazing informative videos coming at you and check out Natalie's website nutritiouslynatalie.com she's an amazing beautiful blog beautiful Aww. recipes photos she does everything <laughs> herself you can also see her recipes once in a while on mrkate.com too so yay cheers mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>two delicious dishes because why? because why why not <laughs> why not <laughs>